this is going to be a really fast uh, tutorial on just how to get the Autocrat add-on installed. Um, so if you know how to do add-ons, you should probably skip this one. But if not, here we go. Um, fun fact about the Chrome browser, if you type in sheets.new, it makes a new spreadsheet for you, which is nice. Um, you'll notice I'm in incognito mode. That's because I'm using the sort of dummy account that I created to sequester Autocrat so it doesn't have access to everything in my Google Drive, just in case something bad happened. So once you are in a spreadsheet tab, and you do have to be in Google Sheets, you can't be in any of the other Google products, it has to be in Sheets, you're going to go to this add-ons menu, and down here it'll say get add-ons, and that's what we want to do. Okay. So Autocrat comes up for me probably because I search for it all the time uh, to, to do a little tutorial thing. But if it doesn't show up for you, you just search for it there. You click on the Autocrat um, little button that pops up. And then there's this big blue button that says install. And so we're going to install that. Making me choose my account, which is good. And then these are all the scary permissions that you have to give it. It really does need all that to work. They're not asking for more than they need. Okay, and so now it's telling us that when we go back to our sheet and click on add-ons, Autocrat is there and we can open or do any of these other things. So let's see what open does, because honestly, usually it says launch for me. It does the same thing that it normally does. Okay, and so this is where we'll start in the next video, um, and I'll walk you through all the steps to set up Autocrat to run jobs for you. Um, if you ever want to get rid of Autocrat, you absolutely can. You're going to go to Manage Add-ons, and you can click here on the three dots and just say Uninstall. Um, there's a few other ways to uninstall as well. But if you don't want Autocrat to be running in the background or to continue to have access after the one thing you're planning on using it for, you can always uninstall it very, very simply. All right, good luck.